Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Riza VR Missions. I'm the Mysterious JG. And I'm still the Lethal VLI. I actually had that nickname queued up to go before we got on a little mini Metal Gear kick last time, but our kick now is taking out goth chicks. And I don't mean for a, a nice drink. Completely missed. That could that could change everything. This could be an unwinnable fight now. The Eternal Guardian. The Guardian forever. The Sailor Pluto. <laughs> the most boring Sailor Scout of them all. <laughs> Even though she's a fucking Time Lord. <laughs> Understandably, tossing a fairy up into an air is a weakness? Okay. They don't have wings, they just flutter about with their hair. I'm thinking lightning must be a weakness, because I did that to inflict stun damage. Uh, thinking, ah, I'll get my charges back later, I might as well use this. And then it's like, oh, now she almost did. A spirit feather and a mutant taunt. So she wasn't really Good. dropping anything that... Did we even get the little bestiary uh, added to message for Tal? Because... I didn't see it. Yeah, maybe we've already fought those and... It's a big bad here and is a normal enemy elsewhere. Could be. Hmm. Flame black sand. It's black as flame, I guess. It's blacker than blackest black. It's black, y'all. It's black, y'all. It's blackity black and it's black, y'all. I need to get uh, Zerfall here. He's my hip hop consultant. Mm. But first things first, he's the realist. Mm -hmm. The Rizza should be shocked at my lack of knowledge about these musical genres. I am, I'm just being polite. <laughs> but I'm putting all the messages on Twitter right now. <laughs> I've been told by people I trust, actually, that although I've never dipped my toe in, Black Twitter is best Twitter, apparently. There are non-black people who are like, oh yeah, black Twitter is way more entertaining than ours. <laughs> Only the pentatite man will pass. Okay, so if you use the bomb hammer, you get lightning ore plus other stuff, and if you don't, you just get bomb ore, or lightning shit. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, see, we only burned a section of this tree. There are more sections <laughs> that we could use uh, the axe on. Maple bark. That's one of my favorite German beers. Like Man, it. this is one meaty tree. You know, it's a good thing this is a video game, because otherwise I feel like uh, it's probably a crime <laughs> that we're killing this tree. It has probably been here for like a thousand years, and we're like, yeah, but look at all that flammable bark we got out of it. I mean, it's just spewing honey or maple syrup out of itself. Uh, what I'm saying is it's asking for it. Instead of being the giving tree, this was like the taking tree, where we just, you know, took from the tree. So like every tree. Kind of, yeah. Except for the giving tree. Mm -hmm. The giving tree, known by other trees, is the Uncle Tom tree. <laughs> You're working with the oppressors. I was thinking of a more tasteful way to put it, but yes. <laughs> All right, all right. We'll call it the Clarence Thomas tree. Oh, topical. He's been a Supreme Court justice for a long time, but yes, today was one of those days where you just go, ugh. Yeah, and if you're not in this day in history, this was the affirmative action. But, uh, you know, if, if you want to choose it to be the abortion decision day, I, I'm fine. You can pretend. This content's evergreen. Okay, I forgot that everything doesn't take eight hits to kill because of those two trees. Milk your soul, the two trees. Like what? I, I can't talk. I'm a tree. <laughs> can't talk. Kiefer Sutherland isn't available to voice me. Godspeed, Boots. 
and have angels carry thee to thy rest or whatever. So what do those do? Do those increase mo movement speed? I hope so. Oh, the question now is, are they a, quote, gathering tool? Oh, I can't switch. Okay, well, I can't switch those in the middle of a trip anyway. They would appear to be an accessory that gives you... Speed step L. Increases speed and reduces skill weight. Not shabby. Not shabby at all. Don't know if we'll be using it, but uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right. It's pretty good. I think it's been a while since this has truly been the Pixie Force. I think this is pretty much the Riz's Force at this point. They live here. She, they live here because she tolerates it. Ooh. Oh. I guess we'd seen most of them before. Yeah, I think we have a third one. We had two before. Now that one of us on the chain, it would appear. So where's yeah. the final one? The Fragrant Force. Sounds stinky. But in the good way. Oh, I need to get my timer uh, <gasps> visible here. I was running the timer. I just didn't have it set to where I could see it. All right. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be a, a future site for an atelier, or perhaps like Rizzo will open up an you know an alchemy franchise where she'll have like associate franchisee alchemists who need their own smaller uh, ateliers. But uh, despite what I'm saying, none of that is actually true. So let's move on. I mean, we don't know. We haven't played the other two games. They exist in this timeline. Apparently three is it. So there may be only another four or five hundred. But I, you know, yeah, they can change their minds. There's been like, I think three of the last four Metal Gear Solid games were supposed to be the last game ever for sure. We mean it this time. But, um, and I think the first Final Fantasy was supposed to be the last one. Uh, that's what now, the name you know said that to me. Was... That's what that's what I took that name to mean. Okay, well... You're you, telling me you... we can't interact with that. It is not marked on the map as a thing we can go by anyway. It, oh, it well, is. That's, supposed... not the way th that's not the way through, though. Follow the road. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I would have got there. I guess I'm weirded out that this is just this is just a treasure map info that we hadn't advanced far enough to be given this clue. It would have been accessible with, you know, before we had the bomb rod and the uh, fancy uh, adventure set. I was like looking for things that would have stopped us from getting here before, and all that was stopping us was that it wasn't marked. Matter of fact, I think we could have gotten this before. We just wouldn't have been told where it was. Yep. Just wandering around smashing the X button, you can find it. More illuminated cells. Yeah, we have this rivalry going with the Goth Queen self. It could be one of those things like. Dark and yeah. It could be like a sort of cosplay thing, the people cosplaying as the, the Dark Elf actually hang out with the person cosplaying as the Elf of Light. They just, you know, while they're actually at Comic-Con, they act like they're enemies. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's on this freaking map. Keep brain farting that it's on your local map, too. You don't have to go back to the treasure map. Mm -hmm. So somewhere here... Probably within the, uh, yeah. the roots of that tree, I'd wonder. Yep. Ah, not quite fast enough. And thus, our struggle with these illuminated sylphs will be all the more challenging. Oh man, she took a hit point off of him with that attack. No wonder she was laughing. Disgusting. And they, of course, came back immediately because of our mm -hmm. energy pendants of justice. It's it's like, for them, we're this unwinnable boss fight early in the story that's supposed to humble you and make you feel powerful when you're uh, stronger later in the game. Da -da -da. That's the final clue. Now we can find the final fibbage if we go back. 
Uh, or it could be that thing over there. I would say, what is that? That is a fast travel guidepost? That can't be right. It's a, uh... No, it's treasure. Nope. Yeah, it is here. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Uh, did we hop to that little island there already? I don't think we did. I don't think so. Oh, it's not an island. It's a little, uh... Oh, see? Now we got these, uh... The honey the, go pool. the goth ladies are just regular enemies here, unless that's a slightly different... There's more velvet. This is velvet, and the other one was, like, uh, leather. Nope, same enemy, Eternal Guardian. I'm curious, though. They're not even weak against lightning. They just, uh... Just using an item was enough to, to crush them. You usually don't get to see that attack from that uh, point of uh, view. Yeah, I was just using it as a regular old one to get his normal special instead of his special special. <laughs> Oh, it's a treasure chest down here, too. Mm -hmm. These things are just hanging out in the honey, as one does. We're nihilist guardians. We love the honey. Why would we waste time pretending there's meaning to anything that isn't honey? The world's a honey vampire. Sit <laughs> like if Winnie the Pooh went goth. <laughs> or at least, you know, alternative rock. Right. Not sure if that's an insulting thing to say about the Smashing Pumpkins. I do like that song. Uh, I, My freshman college roommate would listen to it like 10 times a day. It, it, there was never... Like, if I liked it the first time I heard it, I hated it by the end of the first day that I heard it. They got some songs I like. I think. Uh, I'm just, I'm just taking in this view here. We have like a dinosaur skeleton, mm -hmm. so I'm imagining that it fell in the honey like it was a tar pit and died slowly. <laughs> what a okay. I didn't even look at what the treasure was. An elixir ring. So secret knowledge L. Increased core item effect and critical rate. That's useful. Increase core item weight and user's AP gain rate. AP Not gain. Not too shabby. Might be worth uh, trying out on the woman herself here. We need to keep fire resist up, enhance skills. No, I think this is better. I didn't even notice what it did to her stats, and it uh, makes her more powerful and defense-like. Also, and, no, I, I, I already switched. So, so it takes down her attack and her defense. Raises her speed and gives her some better passive stuff. I'll leave it alone. If we reach a scenario where, like, oh, our items are not as good as they should be, maybe we try to incorporate it. It was gold. I thought that the background is what matters. Just like your college admissions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Seven whole damage, my goodness. Yeah, but it took us so long to get to level two. It's been a real challenge, this mission. The worst. There it is. All right. Let's see Summoning Star from the traditional viewpoint we're used to recently. More tonight. Wasn't that like Arthur's illegitimate son with uh, Morgan Le Fay tonight? Sure. <laughs> You know, I'm going to bring in the viewers, Letha, with the Lamort Artur references. That's that's what's going to 
make this the most uh, watched LP ever of this game. It's true, especially on episode. Uh... <laughs> yeah, probably bringing it in a little late, but uh... you did pass by the uh, the treasure chest. By the way, I'm not sure if that was planned. I'm just uh, give me a heads up. I thought it was on. The, I thought it was on the top level of this little pass we got to go through. Around. You passed the intersection. I thought it was like a bridge. I could be wrong, and if I am, we'll save some time here, but I thought... Maybe you are right. Yeah, that path up there is where we gotta go. Okay, I was right. It happens occasionally. Don't let it so rattle you. I'm already rattled. Alright, well. Another thing I should have done early in the series. <laughs> Told you not to be getting rattled. Yep, if I had had that, <laughs> that precaution in my head, I would mm -hmm. not be... I was Disillusioned gonna, as I am now. I was about to say I could go back and like you know, uh, change the uh, the description of the uh, playlist to include uh, hey, check episode hundred whatever for I'll say at lethal don't get rattled. Retroactively, it'll uh, it'll help. Mm -hmm. All right, so more of these ladies. Okay, I'm really not that not that engaged with. Or Crystal 3, your maximum core charge is increased by 3. Oh, fucking nice. That's really that's really good. A worthwhile reward. What the heck? Golden Knight. When you have the Silver Knight, you have nothing. It's just bonking a fucking <laughs> dragon on that little head. Um, excuse me, this is a Zephyr. They're like... They're, um, the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, -huh. uh it's that Eastern religion, uh, Baha'i. I was going to say they worship Baha'u, Baal, and I'm like, no, no, that's different. Baha'i and Baal are not the same. Now you know the rest of the story. No, I met a, I met a, a Baha'i person who was like a, like a late, like, late life convert. Like, she just found it while rebelling against her parents or whatever and uh, she tried to sell me on it but I didn't really learn very much about it other than the fact that this really really strangely insistent person wanted me to know more and that wasn't making me want to know more it, 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 the name really doesn't help it's all like the buy high it's like it sounds like it's backwards it should be high buy and then <laughs> now if it was high buy I'd be all over that all right, I think we're out of stuff to do here. Um, thank the good Lord. What is that little fiery looking thing? Water area. Okay, we don't care about that. I don't know that we would have gotten any more map clues, but uh, I suppose we can pop by and see. Stop. It's just possible we got all we're going to get because um, I have been remiss with checking the quest, but we've got a few things now that... Uh, this is doable. Obtain treasure. And I don't see any new one where they hire, obtain, like, six treasures has happened. Mm -hmm. He's learned strategic eye. It's the octo eye. The eye becomes camouflage, depending on what you press it against. <laughs> but only the eye. Yes. No, the, 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 he had a weird uh, eye piece that looked like a... Uh, I patched it, did something in that game. I just don't remember what. Uh, but there are more treasure clues to be found, apparently. I didn't see more treasures, but I did see more treasure clues as a thing for uh, for your one. But uh, we have not come across them yet. So I guess now we're just freestyling. Where do we feel like looking for cool shit? I remember Meteor Castle had some places that involved hopping around. And there's still three areas we haven't even been to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Oh, <laughs> thank you. No, I would assume that they will be... This will be part of getting them to pop. But... There's a big bat over here, although I don't have that much... don't have that much uh, fear of it. I have, a, I have the sense that it's kind of spec for this area and not being on the other side of those jumps.
Eh, maybe not. This guy's not putting up much of a fight, but he's he's not putting up zero fights. I was gonna say, rounds. this is the first time he moved. <laughs> yeah, but like, we didn't get him to like 90% health depleted before he got to move. He's definitely not punching at our weight level, but he's could be farther. Come on, Claudia, say it. No. Nope. Her little mushroom quote here led to one of my favorite moments of the series so far. Right in my shit, you little sons of bitches. I cannot overstress how much I hate you. <laughs> You're like a coffee table, but aggressive. That's how I feel. <laughs> It's like if Dick Van Dyke tripped over a, like, non-cushioned ottoman. You know what, if the, uh... If the Lamort Artur references don't bring the viewers the uh, Dick Van Dyke show current content, that's really gonna get the Millennials on board. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can, see if I can come up with some My Favorite Martian jokes here later. Was there nothing up there? There was. I, I, I kind of vaguely thought we might spend more time there than here. So there doesn't really seem to be anything Night Glow foul. Or is that one that is new ish or just one I've gotten? It's been so long since they were relevant that I forgot we used to get them. I believe it's the second one. Yeah, there's some. Bo there's a box in this room that you haven't opened. Mm hmm. I'll, I will get there. Let's see. They're pillaged. It except looks like, for this one. Yeah, it, you're, it looks like you're right. They only didn't open the big one in the center, of course. Dragon's Eye. We've got a we've got a small number of those, but I think they might be from treasure chests and stuff. I don't know that that's one that we can get we've to. We've gotten them from actual dragons. <laughs> but the boss dragons, like I don't think we've gotten those from repeatable fights. I could I could definitely be wrong. Sailor. Sailor Mook. Sailor Mook. All right, so that didn't actually... It got us, like, one neat item and a fight with an enemy that I think we actually have found elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So not a whole lot came of that. The heat wave gate coming to Texas. This 2023 season. I haven't seen so far any... There's Yeah, say... I haven't seen any. Oh, and that big bad back there, that's. We fought that big bad many times at this point, so I'm not going to bother. Mm -hmm. But, um. I haven't noticed, unless some things are yet to appear, any movement tech related stuff that the bomb rod and these fancy new shoes wouldn't take care of. So I do feel like we're probably meant to be able to get to everywhere that we've actually progressed in the story. Just got turned around the completely wrong way. We want to be gone. See, this looks kind of cool. I guess. I just never quite reached over there and hit that spot before. He didn't pet the dragon statue. A heated bangle! You don't have to restart the beginning of the game, JJ. It's not an iron bangle. It's, it's, it's a nice thought. <laughs> Someone put it in the microwave for you, though. I've been looking for a reason to replay the entire Final Fantasy XIII series. Except that I haven't. There's there's literally, there's several Final Fantasy 13 or Final Fantasy games I haven't played, including, you know, the one that came immediately after. But I'm like, I could play through the whole series again just to get that Iron Bagel. If it's like a quantum leap, put right what once went wrong. All right. Red Dark, the Mock Hawk. Oh, it's like, uh, like Mock Turtle. You can, uh... You know, it tastes almost exactly the same in soup, but it's not endangered. So instead of killing a hawk, you can have mock hawk. Fun with homonyms. Unless that's not what homonyms are. <laughs> okay, say so homonyms are the words that sound the same. Okay. Spelled differently. Typically, they would have to be, or they'd be the same word. <laughs> well, I mean, we've got inflammable and flammable. I guess that's the same word with completely contradictory are... meanings, multiple meanings. Mm -hmm. 
Other than the fact that you probably wouldn't get, uh, I guess you should get uh, alchemy ingredients for it. I really, I really wish this had like the earthbound system where enemies that were way weaker than you would run away from you. Mm -hmm. And that if you chase them down, you would get like a little blip. You Here are the rewards that you would get for winning that battle and we're not going to make you do it. That would be very handy here. It's the dragon what games could dash. benefit? Firecore. The latest, uh, the latest music trend. That's, well, that's all of them. That's all of them. I wish this view showed you whether there were... Jumpy spots. Jumpy <laughs> spots. I don't think this place would have them. And we've kind of been everywhere else, so I think we, we can safely say we're done with that. Mm -hmm. We've been everywhere in uh, Wise, the Weisberg Volcano. But it, but it, the work I hope of, we discover something new. Yep, it's the work of but a few minutes to check and... Uh, oh. Hey, actually, he looks like he's not fucking around. <laughs> I believe we can see the enemy big bad in the distance. The one that's obscuring the sun? Yeah, that's probably him. Hmm. Okay, let's check the other areas first and come back uh, here. That one's got... Come on. Dying is not a big problem. No, don't run away. Come on. Come on. I'm not trying to be a puss. I want to come back come and fight. On. It's a question of... What would, what would we lose? And we we could lose uh, one-time only treasures we just collected. Well, then we could go back to the Talia, and then there's no reason not to go. Oh, I just wanted to check these other screens to see if there was anything else to do, or if we're just going to hit the Italia and come right back to this boss. We only got like three minutes left. I think we're fighting that boss, and that's our hook for the next video. And, oh, there's jumpity spots up here. Annoyingly, you're going to take a lot of walking to get to. This is why we need to uh, find a couple more recipes so that I can raise the alchemy level and crank up our run speed based on our awesome backpack with its built-in compass. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks because they start down here. Okay. Whoa. That's a weird-looking rock. Yeah, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Spider-Man rocks. That reminds me in a very roundabout way. Bobo or uh, Bronco said, and, and his parents captured it on a cell phone. It's one of those they made him repeat it because it was so cute. It's like the uh, cutest thing ever. <laughs> blue flame or river stone, like those <laughs> popsicles you get out of the ice cream truck. Yeah, they're supposed to be raspberry flavored, but strawberry was already red, so they made them blue. That makes no sense to me. All right. But that would appear to be it for here. Check this real quick. Head back to the atelier. Take a deep breath. Try to build up our confidence, and then we'll go after... Oh, this is the wrong screen. I guess I need to go to Smoky Mountain Wrestling Path. Let's see if we can catch some... Like, late 90s Jim Cornette managing uh, Nature Boy Buddy Landell action here. This doesn't look to have anything we couldn't have done before. All right. Well. All righty. Back to Pixar Forest. To make Toy Story 5. How would he got his groove back? Toy Story After Dark, and you find out why they call him Woody. Alright. That was terrible. There will be more terrible content in the next video, so I hope you'll join us then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.